As the sun rises on another day over Brisbane's ever-changing skyline, we say welcome. Welcome to Queensland, Australia's sunshine state. From its tropical northern tip at Cape York to the southeastern corner here, where the capital city of Brisbane lies exactly central between two of the world's most magnetic coastal resort areas, Queensland is a vast area of contrasts, offering something for everyone. Brisbane itself is a subtropical city whose people have a relaxed and casual attitude to life and who pride themselves on not being caught up in the rat race of their southern neighbours. There's a geniality about the people going about their duties and a friendly, uninhibited greeting from a suntan stranger may at first take you by surprise, particularly if you're used to the stony visage of a big city. But you'll find yourself soon getting used to it. Set on a snaking river, Brisbane is a city of flowering trees, exotic shrubs, and has one of the finest displays of subtropical flora in the world. If you've never experienced a genuine rainforest before, well, there's one right slap bang in the middle of the city. The Botanic Gardens, luxuriating between Parliament House and the river, is just a stone's throw from the City Hall, the country's most famous, whose balcony has been graced by many a world dignitary. If this all sounds like a bit of puffed up civic pride, well, you could be right. Brisbane, in terms of area, is second only in the world to Los Angeles. Now, with a population of around one million, there's an awful lot of space for everyone, and they certainly make the most of it. Over the past decade, a vibrant energy has emerged, transforming Brisbane to contender for the title of Australia's number one city. In 1982, Brisbane was suddenly launched onto the world map as host for the immensely successful Commonwealth Games. The legacy of this huge undertaking can be seen everywhere. The bustling city mall, sports complexes to rank alongside any in the world, and the magnificent Queensland Cultural Centre, with a lyric theatre and concert hall each seating 2,000, a superb art gallery and museum a restaurant, drama theatre and picturesque walkways about the river edge. It stands on Brisbane's south bank as a monument to the city's arrival. As a further endorsement of this recognition, Brisbane was also selected as host city for the prestigious World Exposition in 1988. Yet another proud feather in its cap. As well, Brisbane boasts Australia's largest entertainment centre with a capacity seating of 16,000, all undercover. The Brisbane Bicentennial Sports and Entertainment Complex. Now, for the first time visitor to our international city, selection of the right hotel is without doubt of paramount importance. Right in the heart of the city, you'll find the stately Lennons Plaza Hotel. Not far away, and just across from the City Hall, is the 16-storey Crest International. The ultra-modern Sheraton and Hilton chain is the latest addition in luxury accommodation. And if you're partial to river views, the Coronation, just slightly away from the city centre, can provide just that. Finally, the Park Royal, offering superb views across the Botanic Gardens. All of these hotels are equipped with major conference rooms, provide excellent facilities, and are all regular venues for international conventions. And at most, after a hard day's work, you can relax with a glass of your favorite nectar amongst a multitude of restaurants tasting international cuisine second to none. But we'll return to the big city later. Now, let's take a short trip, just an hour north or south and you find you are passing mile after mile after mile of unbroken white beaches fringed with palms and Norfolk pines and washed by the warm Pacific Ocean. The place that is considered to be Australia's premier resort, a 40-kilometer stretch of not only spotless, spacious beaches, but a plethora of sights, sounds and sensations to titillate even the most discerning visitor. This is Queensland's Gold Coast. The real beauty of the Gold Coast is the variety it offers. 
secluded beaches and picturesque gardens are never far away. And if peace and serenity is what you really feel you need, the mountains of the hinterland, with their mantle of tropical rainforests, cascading waterfalls, and exotic wildlife, are only a half an hour's drive. After a soul-cleansing visit there, however, you may just be in the mood for Jupiter's. Yes, the $186 million Conrad Hotel and Jupiter's Casino. Set in 15 acres of landscaped gardens and parkland, the whole complex is an architectural masterpiece. With its 622 guest rooms and suites, it is without doubt Australia's largest hotel. The latest and largest landmark on the Gold Coast skyline. So we leave Jupiter's and the surrounding Gold Coast and travel back north for the quieter of the two coasts, the Sunshine Coast. Unspoilt, peaceful. In fact, an area of coastline virtually unchanged by the march of time. It is to many an idyllic haven far enough away from the bustle of city life, but at the same time, so easily accessible. Maruchidor probably the busiest of its many resort towns. Noosa, magnificent wide beaches, a profusion of restaurants and exclusive fashion shops, and five-star accommodation. And probably the Sunshine Coast's most famous attraction, the Big Pineapple. Here they have a knack of doing things with tropical fruit and ice cream that you wouldn't believe. So we return to this city, but going back to a city like Brisbane from the coasts is not the dramatic change of environment that you experience elsewhere. Only 15 to 20 minutes away from here, the city centre, are islands right out of the pages of Robinson Crusoe. Placid waterways for the sailing enthusiast and an abundance of fish just waiting to jump onto your line. And smiling faces everywhere smiling faces. Well, wouldn't you, waking up to a sky like this most mornings of the year? Come and visit us soon. We're sure you'll want to stay a while. Sun lover, sun lover, sun lover land. Clear blue water and fine white sand. Come up and get your body brand new London.